So we want to make sure that uh, students uh, are checking their registration and take an electronic picture of it. So if they're forced to vote provisionally, they've got actual proof they were on the roll. Also, there's election night monitoring another project, right? Uh, uh, we do this with a lot of people from across the country. You can actually monitor the Board of Election voting totals uh, in real time. Uh, also, we want election observers at the Board of Elections. If you're working with candidates, a candidate can have observers uh, at the poll, but we need to monitor 88 counties and record their sequence of voting. So we really need to monitor these. Many of you know ACORN was involved from 1971 forward in voter registration. Uh, from the very beginning when we began Little Rock to 2008 when I uh, left ACORN and we were registering more than a million new voters every cycle. But part of what's been going on in more recent years and during that period was an, an effort to suppress voters by purging. Uh, 20 years ago where a targeted letter would be sent to particular zip codes that were identified racially or ethnically to try to determine whether or not you could take those particular voters off the rolls. The Ohio Voter Project, and we've reached out and created this partnership for the Voter Purge Project, which is based on his ability to figure out how these pieces come together and create a pure list that we can almost immediately query and find out results in terms of anticipating and responding to purges. So we're going to try to figure out on the, on the field test what the truth of that is. We're doing it in Ohio, but we're also going to see once we do it in Ohio, we'll do it in North Carolina, Pittsburgh, and uh, uh, Detroit as well to see if we can determine what the percentage of error is in purges and drops. Americans unite for democracy, integrity, and transparency. How to make elections transparent, trackable, and publicly verified. Digital images are now the industrial standard in voting in the United States. Eighty percent of every vote counted in the 2020 election will be counted on a digital scanner. In Ohio, looking at the numbers, uh, right now, your state is 80 percent using ballot images, and this is the last October. Uh, ESNS had 63 percent of your market. Uh, Dominion had 13, and uh, Heartland Civic and another small company have the rest of it. And then you got the old junk, which really is junk because it left no evidence behind how it works. If we fix the black box to make it transparent. Uh, we're in a situation that we uh, have both parts of problems. We still got. Voter suppression, uh, playing with the databases, the propaganda, you know, the misreporting, you know, all these things certainly play a effect. 